Guys, what's up? It is your coach Mark here, and I wanted to talk to you today about this whole uh, case with Castor Semenya. Um, she is a runner, Olympic uh, gold medalist, who runs the 400 and 800 meter, uh, sets some world records, and uh, she's no longer able to compete because um, her testosterone levels are too high. Okay, so her her testosterone levels are are too high. They're too high, naturally speaking. So she's born this way. She's female. She doesn't have. There's no difference to her genitalia. She's not. She's not some. She's not trans. She's just a regular female who has higher than normal testosterone levels. I think it's. I think they said roughly three times the amount that a regular woman has. So, you know, whatever the the board that decides this, the Olympic board or set of judges that decide. Whether this is fair or not, they've decided that two to one that, uh, you know, she, it's just unfair. She has to take a drug to lower her testosterone levels. Okay, this is, the abs this is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard in sports. It is, it is probably, you know, aside from wrestling being removed from the Olympics, and it did, it did get brought back in, thankfully. But, like, okay, so... She's born this way, okay? She has a genetic variation, okay? There are many genetic variations that elite athletes have, okay? Being an elite athlete in your sport is not a, not a result of you just training hard and, you know, believing in yourself, okay? Yes, there is that aspect. But everybody who's at the top of their game is genetically elite. That means they have certain genetic variations in them that allow them to be a better athlete, why they're picking this one over any other other one out there is beyond me. I mean, quite honestly, there are athletes out there who have you know genes for better pain tolerance. Okay, there's athletes that ha that are able to um, you know move oxygen through their tissues much more efficiently and create energy much uh, much more efficiently than other athletes. Okay, so they have that genetic advantage. There are other athletes that have longer legs. Okay, like this is just you, you know Michael Phelps from what I understand, has an overproduction of growth hormone. He has larger hands, he has larger feet. Okay, he was, that's just naturally the way he is. So, you know, you wanna say who is the fastest person at this, okay? Just, you come out of your mom, you, you just, you train, you, you don't do anything, quote, unnatural to yourself, and you're the fastest at that. Isn't that what you want to know? Who is the fastest, not who is, well, wait, wait a second, they have this genetic variation, we gotta tone that down, make them slower, okay? So you gotta take drugs, make them slower, because that's what they're telling Semenya to do, Castor Semenya to do, and, and then now it's fair. So they're gonna slow her down, like what? You're trying to determine who is the fastest person. That's her, that's her in her natural state. Now she's gotta take drugs to see that, to to make it more fair? I mean, talk about discrimination. Like, it totally, like, completely unfair. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. You know, anyways, I just want to rant about that. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I'll say it again. It is these genetic variations in and of themselves that make the athletes who they are and make the athlete the best they can possibly be. That's It's, it's as simple as that. If you're going to start to pull away these things from athletes, then you might as well take everything in there, everything about an athlete that's making them better and chop it down and make it more on an equal playing field, okay? If you've got long legs, we've got to cut your legs down, okay? We're going to take whatever it is off, all right? If you're, if you're able to, you know, move oxygen better through your tissues, then you know what? Uh, somehow we're going to have to, like, you know, do something chemically to slow that down. Like, it's absolutely stupid, stupid, absolutely retarded. That's all I have to say.